Hello and welcome to Apache Camel tutorial. Today we will be discussing a very important and useful EIP pattern called content based routing. As name suggests, the content based routing from the EIP patterns allows you to route messages to the correct destination based on the content of the message. Let's just try to understand in real world what it means through this particular visual. Okay, so Let's just uh, imagine for a second that you have an order service based of some properties, you know, it could be header property or something inside your message. Based of that criteria, you would like to choose the, the destination differently. Okay, let's say you have order and what you like to do is by after seeing a property that maybe this order is for gadget, you would like to send it to gadget inventory service. Okay, if um, the, the order is for widgets maybe you like to send it to widget inventory and then you can just keep building uh, your your criteria okay so this is how the content based routing works it's as simple as that so how do we implement that in camel let's let's take a look so camel gives option uh, called choice which you put inside your route and it's very much like you know the if else condition okay if i see this i like to do this if i see that i do like to do that otherwise else which is kind of fallback so there are two options in choice okay um it's called when it's like a if as i said okay if i see this i like to do that otherwise i have fallback called otherwise choice takes when when takes um you know you can you can have your um, some sort of condition or you can use simple which is camel's uh, expression language way to, way to handle things um, you can use springs expression language or you can use predicate uh, i'm going to show you like you know how you can um, you know build using simple so what we're going to do is we're going to take the thing which i'm showing you on on the screen uh, let's just try to understand real quick what we are saying is i have a a, a root called orders okay in orders i'm putting a choice and then i'm saying if I see a, a property or header called inventory and if it's equal to widget, I like to choose this route. If I see gadget, I like to choose this route. Otherwise, I'm just going to send it to general. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this particular route which I have built over here and I'm going to put in my Java code and let's just try to see uh, how it behaves. So let's just head back to uh, IntelliJ. So this is uh, a class which I just prepared. What it's simply doing is it's a spring component okay it's extending root builder and then i have overridden this method called configure okay so let's just copy paste uh, the the root which we saw over there there we are so what i have is i'm saying direct orders choice you know it's, it's a, a definition over here and this is the expression language i'm using i'm saying if i see this header called uh, widget go to Let's just uh, format a code a little bit because we copy paste it. So it's just uh, a messed up little bit. So that's that's better. It's much more readable. So we are saying if I see widget, I like to go to this particular destination, which is another direct route. OK, uh, nothing complex. I am. I'm, I'm just trying to demonstrate how you can basically, you know, implement content based routing. What this direct route will simply do if you know, uh, if, if we call this one, it's going to print a log saying got a widget order for whatever body it is there. If it sees gadget, it's going to say I've got order for uh, gadget. Otherwise, it's going to simply print got a general order. All right. So we have now built our route and it's done. So how do we test it? Several ways. OK, you can you can uh, directly send a message to this particular route you can build rest service on top of that or you know you can use some sort of producer template and you can you can reach over here what i'm going to do is i'm going to write a very simple test okay uh, and then we'll try to invoke this particular route so this is our test class which i just wrote what this class is simply doing it's extending camel test support I hope you know uh, how to test, um, you know, camel roots. If not, I prepared a video, um, um, I think few weeks back. Please go back and check over there. So I'm going to use this camel test support class, which is given by um, by camel itself is really, really useful. You don't have to create camel context. You don't have to prepare templates. Everything is given to you. OK, so I have written this method called given gadget order request root will process gadget order. You can see like you now one thing is really good 
practice to give your method names you know uh, so they are one easy to read easy to understand and sometimes they 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 can be used um, as, as a documentation as you can see over here I don't have to explain to you or 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 the reader of this message if not if I'm not present what this this test method should do or supposed to do okay good practice right so what I'm doing over here is I'm going to use template I'm saying send body and headers to this particular endpoint called direct orders what is my body it's simply saying airports I like to buy airports okay what is my header inventory called gadget I'm telling over here please you know this is the order for gadget do whatever you have to do let's just try to execute this particular test over here at the moment I have not built any smartness ie I'm not asserting anything um, um, I'm simply executing this particular test and I'm just gonna uh, verify the the logs okay so our test has failed let's just have a quick look what went wrong so looks like our copy paste has messed up a few things so I think it, it's it's not liking uh, this okay single quote let's just do that widget already has a single quote uh, and general doesn't require that okay so let's just execute our test hopefully um, it should work okay perfect it, it worked now recap what we are trying to achieve we have sent a request to gadget okay because I'm trying to buy airports so I'm hoping it should land somewhere over here okay uh, da, 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 there, there we are so it's saying gadget okay this is my route um, and then I got a gadget order for airports the you know the good good thing over here you can see because I have given a root ID so it's printing that okay this this message has been printed by this particular root now let's just try to repeat this particular test and how do we repeat um, let's just copy paste this particular test okay because I like to invoke um, what was the other thing widget okay so what we are simply saying when I call widget I should be getting widget so inventory equal to widget okay and widget could be like you know, let's say I have an app uh, called Amazon okay I like to download that that Amazon app now if I execute the entire class so two uh, test methods should be executed so we checked gadget previously now let's just check um, the the widget okay as you can see the root name has been printed called widget and it's saying got a widget order for Amazon if I go back to the other test it is saying gadget which is the the root ID got a gadget order for airports beautiful it's very very powerful stuff okay so what we can do is now we can you know improve our, our test um, which I'm not good you know I'm not going to write the whole thing in front of you right here I'm just going to copy paste which um, which I was preparing earlier okay and what it sh should do so what we have done over here now I have written uh, three methods you know given widget order request it should do this thing I am basically verifying that when I send a request to gadget only you know the gadget uh, inventory route is invoked when I'm calling uh, for for widget only the widget route is invoked if I'm um, sending something else let's say like you no know, t-shirt order then a general one should be invoked okay so as you can see I have I have written some utility method it's saying this prepare a mock endpoint for gadget expected count is zero because this route should be testing for widget so gadget should be zero general should be zero widget should be one and I have kind of repeated this thing um, and then I have you know extracted all the common bits into utility methods over there so if I try to execute this particular test now there we are all of our tests are working okay now if you're wondering that um, you know if if I probably change that to let's say just just make sure like you know it's really really working um, this test should fail now because if I'm calling the order 
okay my 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 header contains order widget should not be invoked okay so i'm expecting this particular test to fail just trying to prove that yes this test is <laughs> really working all right you can see the delay because you know system is waiting for for some sort of timeout there we are okay so our test has failed and it's it's telling you that you know i was expecting one but actually zero which is which is beautiful so just undo rerun it and it should work so i'm going to upload all this uh, code onto um, uh, my github which is uh, you can see from sagu.uk or i'll give the link um, uh, below this video i hope you like the video and uh, you will uh, try to implement this this particular eip uh, is is very powerful stuff okay please subscribe if you have not uh, and leave a comment or question uh, below so i know uh, that you know uh, what you want and how did it go for you thanks for your time